people may come to me and, and look, this world is going to think I'm nuts. They're going to think I'm crazy. They've already done news story on me. You know, I, I've already lost a job over it because I rant and I rave and I scream and I say the sodomites and the wicked people are abominable according to the Lord that are wicked people. They are wicked in their heart. Okay, and I don't care what their outside persona is. I don't care what they look like to you or to your friends. I know what the Bible teaches about the wicked and that they are out defiling people. And you know what? I care too much about the people who are being destroyed and their lives are being destroyed by these perverts and these pedophiles that I'm not going to be the one that just says, oh, no, it's okay. They're just, you know, love is love. Nonsense. No, no, I'm not going to be the one that says, oh, you must be mistaken. So-and-so would never do that. Because that is wicked. I mean, imagine the damage already done to a child and then to be told, oh, no, no, you're, you're wrong. This is actually, he's actually a really good person. The mind job on someone being told, oh, no, you don't know what you're talking about. They're good. This is what's happening with people today that want to call me nuts and I'm a hate preacher and everything else. No, you know what? I'm a love preacher because I love the kids being defiled. And I love the kids that aren't defiled yet. And I want to stop it from happening. And I want to call a spade a spade. And if someone's wicked, I don't want them hiding behind a mask. I want everyone to see them for the monsters that they are. Yes, I get upset about this. Yes, I'm going to yell about it. Yes, I'm going to slam my fist down about it because something needs to be done about it. I'm sick of all the lies and the propaganda out there from this wicked world, this satanic world that wants to tell you that there's nothing wrong with these people. Sorry, the Bible says something different. They privily shoot at the upright in heart. You know, the people that want to get me to lose my job, the people that want to shut down our channel, these people are privately going around trying to do this stuff. Hey, at least we have the courage. You know what the upright has the courage? To just go out and open and say, thus saith the Lord. And say, this is right. And yeah, I'm going to put my face to it. I'm going to put my name to it and say, I don't care. This is true. This is what the Bible says. But the wicked people, they're like cockroaches. You shine the glorious light of God's word on them, and they're going to scurry. They don't want to be in the light. We are called to be children of light. We are supposed to walk in the light. We are supposed to preach the light. We are supposed to be children of light and not afraid of the darkness at all. In the Lord put I my trust. Yeah, you know these people are very wicked, and they are bending their bow, and they are trying to shoot at the upright in heart. Yeah, I know. Sounds dangerous, right? Yeah, I know. In the Lord put I my trust. That's why we can be bold. That's why we don't have to back down. That's why I'm not worried about losing my job. That's why no, I'm not worried about everyone leaving here. I'm not worried about my bank account being shut down. I'm not worried about someone doing something to me physically. I don't care because my trust is in the Lord. Doesn't matter. I'm going to preach the truth, and people need to hear the truth. Because in such a short period of time, people have been brainwashed and this world is being turned upside down and it's sad to see what's happening. But, and, and I'll tell you what, what we see here, look at that very next verse, verse number three. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? We are losing our foundations today. They're being destroyed. They're being shot at. They're being undermined by the enemy. Foundations, fundamental things, fundamental principles, Fundamental truths that should never be shaken, should never be lost, are being overturned left and right. And it's getting to the point where the righteous is just ready to pull out their hair and go, what is going on in this world? What is going on? It's driving me mad. Serious, I see this stuff. It, it's, it's craziness. Think about all of the basic fundamentals, fundamental virtues that we see under attack today. How about the foundation just of the family? Something is very, very fundamental and foundational about the strength and the core within your family. This ought to be a place that you can turn to, that you can trust in, that you can rely in your parents, your brothers, your sisters, right? I mean, I'm talking physically, your own family. But what's been happening now for generations 
Divorce rates skyrocketing. People are committing adultery, cheating on their spouses, going out and just committing whoredom. Why? Do you think this is all just happening by accident? No way. There's been an attack. It has been focused. There has been so much. I mean, think about this and be honest with yourself and think about this. I don't know for you when the last time you've been watching TV or movies or any of this stuff, or how about listening to the music that this world's putting out there? <coughs> Try to think about anything, no matter how recent it was, whenever the last time was you've been watching. I haven't watched like television programming. I think about that programming. It's the reason why it's called programming, okay? It's not just a show, it's television programming because you're, you're being programmed. That doesn't include people committing adultery. And how about this? That doesn't include people being adultery where you're sp meant to felt feel sorry for the person cheating. Right? And to feel sympathy. Oh, they have such a bad relationship. And oh, they found this person that really loves them now. And then they're going to go and get divorced. And, you know, they, they never, they never want to show you the kids. They never want to show you the aftermath. They never want to show you then those same people later on who are miserable and get divorced again and then get divorced again and get divorced again because they can't make a commitment and stick to it. Because they treat marriage and a wedding vow like you're a, a super boyfriend or super girlfriend that's just one more elevated status but not really anything meaningful. That when they make a vow it says until death do us part, they don't really mean that. 